Hello, makeup void of the internet. I'm Trin, the makeup schizophrenic. When I went to the psych ward, they diagnosed me with schizophrenia, not schizoaffective disorder, so maybe I truly am the makeup schizophrenic. We'll see. I need to talk to my doctor about that. But <laughs> here on my channel, I love to spread my joy. I love to find joy through makeup. Makeup is my hobby. YouTube is something that I love to do and I just like to spread joy throughout the internet with these videos and today we're doing a low buy update. Now when I did the intro for this project I didn't expect to do monthly updates but it sort of just sort of made sense. So we're going to talk about products I used up, products I may or may not have hit pan on, goals for April, what I did buy, and what's on my wish list. Give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below what's something that's bringing you joy. Let's get rolling. Okay, my battery is going to die, so let's get through this pretty quickly. Products that I've used up, the Catrice True Skin Foundation, ah, used up a foundation, working towards my goal. So I used it a total of six times in the month of March to empty it, but since I've been pra tracking my progress since late December, I used it a total of 34 times to use it up. Next, I used up the Hydro Hero Primer from Essence. Yes, used it up. It took me eight times in March to use this up or a total of 24 times total to use it up. I do go through primer. Like, I use a lot of primer when I do my makeup, so that's probably why. It's, you probably need a tiny bit amount of it, but I'm like, it's a moisturizing primer. I need to use it a lot, so I do. I do what I want. Next, we have, so... I, I'm, I'm not tracking, I didn't track uses on this sunscreen, but when I repurchased it, I am tracking uses on that one. So I can see how much I, to see how frequently I need to buy it. And that's the Bliss Block Star, Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen. It's a minimal, min, mineral sunscreen, SPF 30. I tried a lot of sunscreens last year and I just keep going back to Bliss. It is just the perfect sunscreen for me because it's not freaking glowy. Can we stop with the glowy sunscreens? Can we please stop? I am a matte girly. I need matte. Matte, 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 matte. And this gives it to me. So I actually got one more use out of it today. I might try using it again tomorrow. Just, I'm not going to cut open the tube. That's not my thing. The Koki Concealer, y'all, used it up. Took me 15 times in March to use it up for a total of 28 times. This is the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. This is the second one I've gone through. I really like this concealer. It's light coverage. It's brightening like it says. It looks great on the under eyes. It took me a total of 50, did I say? Total of 15 times in March and 28 times total. I think on July, I'm going to do a low buy pause and just allow myself to go a little bananas. So I might be repurchasing this come July because I really do like it and it is a really good concealer. It, does emph it doesn't emph emphasize my fine lines too much. Like I I'm 30, I'm turning 31. So I got some fine lines going, but it's good. I like it a lot. My last empty, well... I don't know. I'm talking about one more empty out of this. I didn't write it down. But the Milani eyeshadow primer, I used this up. It took me a, tw a total of 20 times to use this up in March. And a total of 70 times overall. This bad boy is going to get you a long, long way. Again, I could probably cut it open and get more use out of it. I'm not going to. I really like this eyeshadow primer, but I like the Ulta Beauty more. And it's just because this does not give you coverage. I play with new eyeshadow palettes. I play with pressed pigment palettes. Sometimes, not frequently, but occasionally I get some staining on my lids. So I want a eye primer which has a smidge more co coverage. I've used I've used up multiples of these, but I'm not going to repurchase it because I like the Ulta Beauty one so much more. Let's talk about usage goals. About face, champagne room. Hit pan on this bad boy. I hit pan in multiple spots on this bad boy. I love this blush so much. Holy grail. If I end up using up this blush, I will repurchase it. Hands down. But I'm going to put it away. I'm going to put it away. Because I need to use some of my other cream blushes. And spoilers for my project pan. I used the Nabla Ozone 50 times. 
so I can buy a new highlighter. Technically, I could buy two new highlighters. So we'll see what I do about that. But I did hit a usage goal on this highlighter. I am calling this an empty. I didn't write down how many uses I got out of this. But this is the Mora Glitter Glitter Liner in the shade Pink Aurora. And you can see that there's some product down here. But I cannot get any more on the wand. So I'm calling it an empty. And I feel okay calling it an empty. Because... I was debating during last year's Project Pan if I even wanted to keep it or declutter it. So the fact that I can't get any more on the wand or the little blush applicator, I'm happy calling this an empty. Okay, some goals for April. First, I want to use up the, I put it away, like I mentioned, uh, I mentioned it in my makeup diaries, but I used the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum today and... I like the shade. It's more of my skin tone, so it has good coverage. But I don't like how it looks on the under eyes. Uh, my under eyes are not looking cute today. Zoom out. Let's zoom, 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 zoom out so you don't see my under eyes. But it's a, like, I think I might use it as a spot concealer to use this up. And I mean, I got it. I think I can use this up in March, in April. Or by my next little bite update. Maybe I'll wait to use this do my next little bite update when I've used this up. I don't know. But that's a goal. Another goal is to use up the Charlotte Pill Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. So I counted it as an empty towards my lipsticks, but I put it in this flawless forget the filler container to use it up as a blush. I really wanted to use it as a blush today, but I couldn't find it on my desk. And I couldn't find it on my desk because it was right in front of me. So I didn't use it today. What I did use and what I also want to use up is, do I know the show now? Yes. I want to at least have progress in my Halo Berry, blah, blah, blah. This, this in shade Berry Radiant. This was in a project pan last year. I just did a new marking yesterday. I would love to use this up by my next low buy update. I don't think that would happen. But I would love to. It is the blush on my cheeks today. I really like this. To me, this is more of a winter blush. So I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get into it. Maybe I'll use this on like the cold days. Because some days we're getting into the 60s. Some days we're in the 40s. Maybe we're in the 50s. I feel like on the colder days I'll use this blush. I would also like to use up the Elf Power Grip Primer. Y'all, this is down to the wire. We are down to the ninth inning. So I will definitely have this used up probably in the next week or so. Might even be used up before this video even goes live. I won't be repurchasing this because A, I bought a new primer, which I'll go over. And two, with the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, I don't really need a Power Grip Primer. It's just the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. It keeps my makeup on all day looking good, looking fresh. So I'm okay with using this up and not repurchasing it. I also want to use up the Cloud Cosa Setting Powder. I It broke. I don't like this powder. I I mean, there's pan on it, and I've, but I might just even just break this up and finish it off as a loose powder. This is a mini. I regret buying this powder because <laughs> it just doesn't look good, man. I don't get the hype around it. It's fine, but I don't want just a fine setting powder. I want a good setting powder. I have oily skin, even though I live in a dry, dry Colorado climate. I still have oily skin, and I need something that will help with that, and this does not do it, so I want to use this up. Maybe... Let's just try to use it as a, like, a finishing powder. So, let's just get some use out of it. And sort of, like, buff it around where I put on the powder bronzer. I don't know if this is doing anything, but... Maybe I'll use it as maybe to set my primer because I was really big last year into setting my primer with powder. So maybe I'll get I'll use it out of that way. I would also like to hit pan in the e.l.f. putty concealer. So I do see light through this. So I think it's going to be easy to hit pan. Again, I want to use this today, but I couldn't find it because it was on my desk. But if I do hit pan on this concealer, I will count it towards like my two in one out concealer or two in 
two out, one in. So if I hit pay on it, I'll count it as a concealer to buy a new one for my low buy because y'all ain't using this up anytime soon. But I'd be happy if I hit pan on it. I also want to use up my NYX Epic Wear Black Liner. So I don't have a black lip liner, so I use it as a lip liner today. And y'all, we're down to the wire. Again, ninth inning stretch. That's where we are with this. So I'd like to use this up before my next update. I also lastly want to finish the Misha BB Cream, which is the BB Cream on my skin today. It's light coverage. It's not bad. I could probably even do another line marking. So here we are. I mean, we are down to the wire. I maybe can use this up in April. I would love to use this up in April or at least by the next time I do an update. So panning goals, low buy goals. Let's talk about what I bought. It's coming in the mail today, so I do not have it to show you, but I did get I did already <laughs> buy my new blush, which is the Rare Beauty blush, and I got it in the shade Happy. So when I get it, I might redo my makeup later today to do an Instagram reel for it, but check out on Instagram. If I did it, it's already live, where I do a first impression application of the blush. I just mostly chose the shade Happy because I just want some joy. <laughs> I think there's actually a shade name called Joy, so maybe I should have bought Joy instead. But happy is good. If there was a shade called silly, I'd pick silly. <laughs> what? Okay, so I also bought a bunch of products from About Faith. So I bought their Fractual Eye Paint in All About the Benjamins. I got the yellow matte one. The dark purple is somewhere in here. So I bought these fluid eye paints. I bought Pearly, their shadow stick, which I really enjoy. And then I already bought a new black eyeliner. So this is their... Line Artist Longwear Gel Eyeliner, and this is the black one. So this is the backup to the Epic Wear. I haven't used it. I haven't used it yet because I want to use up the black Epic Wear first. But those are the products I bought. Uh, Ulta during their semi-annual sale event, About Face eye products were on sale for like 30% off. And About Face eye products go on sale a lot. So whenever they do go on sale, I end up picking a few more eye paints up just because I like variety. I really like the shadow sticks, so I might pick up a shade or two or more of those when it comes to it. I So for my 2-in-1 concealer, because in my last low buy update, I used up the Catrice True Skin Concealer. I already bought a new concealer. This is the... Urban Decay Stay Naked Quicking Concealer in the shade 20NN. It's full coverage. It's a lot of product. This is half an ounce. So I won't be using this up anytime soon. But I'm really pleased that I bought this concealer. I really do like it. I'm taking a step back so I can use up some of my other concealers. But I like the coverage on this. I like the shade. I like the coverage. I need the coverage. Especially on my chest. <laughs> Insecurities right here. So it's a good concealer. I really would recommend it. Um... It looks good on the inner eyes. Is it the most phenomenal under eye concealer? No, but I'll probably use it for like a super light coverage, like my Australian Gold BB tinted moisturizer, which really isn't, it has like next to no coverage, but it, that would be a good concealer to use with that. I bought two palettes in March. Well, the first one, the Adept Cosmetics Element 115 palette, did a first impressions with this you'll see it i don't i like started a makeup diary series and then i ended up stopping it and i restarted a new one so i don't know how many looks you'll see on it but check out instagram because i have at least a couple looks with this palette and i adore this palette it is so so good the rainbow shades are mwah, beautiful if you swipe your finger back and forth and then do a swiping motion on the lid you can kind of see it. It's pretty. Oh, so good. The mattes are phenomenal. I'm not a big mattes person, but this was my technically February palette because I bought it on the last day of February. My March palette, I already purchased. So I bought, again, Adept, the Cyborg Choir palette. So this first impression should already be live on my channel. I will not link it down below because I suck at that, but you can just scroll back and see it. And you might actually see this in my makeup diaries first, before that first impressions. Cause that's the order of which I do shit. <laughs> but yeah, this is my palette. So I ended up 
Oh, I also said in my goals for April, I wanted to hit pan on something in the retro palette. So I used the mauve shade in the retro palette for my crease, and then I was like, oh shit, there's a same shade I want in the Cyber Acquire palette. So I used that on the lower lash line. They're pretty much identical shades. They pretty much are. It is what it is. But this is my March palette. And I'm not counting this as a palette I had, or maybe... I'm not counting it because I was selling stuff on Macari and I had like a decent amount of credit. So I was able to buy this beautiful set of nine pan shadows from Cleona. Some Someone was just like, hey, these are borderline brand new. I think she swatched them, but was like, hey, I just don't like these shades. So she sold them. So I have eight from the stained glass collection. And then this booger, <laughs> this is the Give Me Glow pressed pigment foiled pressed pigment in the shade electric unicorn and this shadow is bananas it is so good i don't know if she meant to give me the give me glow shadow i don't know if she meant to i don't know if it was just like hey thank you for buying here's this additional shadow i have no idea but it's so good now my beef with these signals is that a lot of them look really similar <laughs> so i need to play around with these more i think i have one intro in my makeup diaries where i did look with these so these are the three palettes now let's talk about my wish list my wish list i still want the rare beauty highlighter in the shade enlighten so it's a matter of, do I go to Sephora and get the highlighter? Do I go to Ulta and buy hair dye? I don't know. We'll see. But I still want that highlighter. And I still want, I still want the About Face Foundation. It is still on my mind. It came out in January. I'm still obsessed with trying it. So I know that that is a good decision for me. That to me is telling me that I'm not just going through the, going through the hype of it all. I mean, it's been out for three, four months. And I still want it. So that's still on my wish list. I would like to buy, I can buy two bronzers or a bronzer and a contour. I can buy two. And I'd really like to get the new NYX bronzer. Like how cool toned it is. I'm really, really curious about it. I don't know how it's going to look on me, but it's sort of like curiosity kills the cat <laughs> kind of deal with that. So I really want to try that bronzer. And then lastly, I am on my way to using up the e.l.f. or Essence 16 hour foundation powder. I did repress it and when I use this I would like to buy a new foundation powder. So please comment down below what found powder foundations that you really like. My brain is telling me just to go for the bare minerals like go for such a classic staple that's what my brain is telling me but whether it's high-end drugs or let me know a good foundation power that i should try i'm just gonna say screw it if it's not cruelty free i'm depending on what you guys recommend i might get it i am okay with spending like the fenty pressed powder foundation which is like 40 bucks i'm considering that so I'm open to a price range. Since I'm on a low buy, I'm okay with spending a little bit more money on makeup, even though I'm a baller on a drugstore budget. I still like you. So those are the products on my wish list, and this is my low buy update. Y'all, I think we did pretty good this month. I think so. I am really looking forward to just what's coming. And you know, I'm still buying makeup. I'm still feeling overwhelmed. I mean, having pretty much dirty brand new palettes to me is like, whew, whew, that's a lot. But I feel pretty good. I think we're definitely getting some good empties. I think we're still making some good progress. And I did download, delete the old and Sephora app from my phone. And then I went on Sephora website and they're like, if you download the app, you get early access to the Rare Beauty blush. So I downloaded the app again and my camera's about to die. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Comment down below. Let me know what products are on your wish list, how your low buy is going, how your no buy is going. I'm here to support you in whatever you're going through. As always, have joy and bye! <laughs>